Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Wander Trek. So I have not done one of these for uh, probably, I think it's two weeks now. And there is a reason for that, mainly uh, I'm in high school right now and last week was the last week of the uh, marking period. And that means a bunch of last minute assignments getting caught up in grades, and a bunch of other generally unpleasant stuff that takes up time. So, oh, can I take this guy out? Oh, almost. Oh boy. Nice. Okay, so, today, by the way, we're just going to be trying to mess around in this nether portal. Luckily, I sent my spawn and everything, so if I die... Shouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, let's build a staircase. <laughs> it's from here, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, I was a bit busy. That's also the same reason I didn't do really anything else besides the dev craft. But that was only because the server was ending. Um, but now that it's the beginning of a new marking period, that means generally a bit less stressful. Oh, I got a notification. But yeah, hopefully I can get a bit more done. I'm going to try to start pre-recording stuff. Does that make grammatical Yeah, I think it makes grammatical sense. Because I don't want to... I don't remember this going that far up. I guess it yeah immediately turns into a slope. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to pre-record some stuff. I mean, I'm already pre-recording the episode for next week's devcraft and yeah it's only been a couple days since that got released that guy just committed suicide oh dear that was hor horrifying i don't think i'm actually going to go for that blaze spawner but i want to see if i can find any nice things in some chests and such um but yeah pre-recording stuff uh, there is going to be a new metropolis episode Friday. I, I've been really bad with that because um, I adopted the sort of time lapse building thing, and I'm really. When I'm making content, I'm making content, and I like to do audio and video at the same time. And when I'm doing one or the other, it just. I'm not really motivated to do that. But I like the style. So I. Ooh, that guy has an eye on me. I don't want none of that. But yeah, I'm... Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, make a run for it. Ooh. Okay, I did it. Skeleton going after me. You don't even know what is missing. We have a weather skeleton out there. Let's avoid those guys. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, but yeah, that'll, that'll be coming. I can force myself to do it, and I really enjoy the building part of it, so that drives me. Uh, this uh, immediate episode, like this next one, might be a bit weird, though, because I was building one building, and then it was looking really crappy, so then I did a bunch off-camera, and so there's going to be a bit of a... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. How am I still alive? Oh, oh. Uh, how am I still alive? Good lord. That was insane. Okay, but anyways, while I'm waiting here and uh, regenerating health a bit. Um. Yeah, so just be prepared for that. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about content lately, and how I'm doing it, and stuff like that. Oh, just block this up a bit more. So, basically I've been... Oh, jeez, let's turn on these sounds a bit. Uh, oh, that's not right. Oh, that's a bit better. Uh, so I've been thinking about what makes good content. 
Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I mean, why are they shooting fireballs? Get a job, good lord. Oh, hello. My friendly wither creature. Oh, they're still shooting at me. You gonna do, do anything? These guys are crazy. Let's run. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to explore this no more. Um, but anyways, now that I can talk. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about content and what makes stuff good. And I think I mentioned, I mean, I talk about this a lot because this is a channel that produces content and this is where I talk about stuff. So happens quite often. So, yeah, I've been doing, I've been thinking as I mentioned three times. Uh, and I'm just trying to, because I talked a little bit about purpose a few weeks ago, and how if, if you set your mind onto a purpose and then have everything attempt to reach that purpose, then you're sort of automatically going to stand out or at least be better than you would otherwise. So I've been trying to apply that a little bit, but the problem is I've been focusing on secondary purposes, and that is the purpose of the individual series themselves. So obviously, this is just a talk and sort to give some back or some insider information onto what I'm talking or what I'm thinking about, stuff like that. I think is um, unfortunately bad. It's getting 14 FPS. I'm not sure what that is. I've been I've been recording with 16 chunks and I'm down to nine, and it's giving me like half the FPS. I must be running something resource intensive. Um, but yeah, I've been. That's whether it's um, doing survival, uh, teaching people how to build, or um, just given like a mini history lesson while providing some cool building content. Like the point of these series as a series on YouTube is to entertain the people who are watching them. And I really find that I'm not great at that. So this isn't like a announcing a shut shutdown of anything. But um yeah I need to improve. Um uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to improve, like in what ways, but I've had some ideas. And if anybody else has any ideas and is actually somehow watching this video, then feel free to leave those ideas in the comments. I just <laughs> double checked I'm going west. Yeah, God forbid I go in a different direction. Yeah, so my idea is to sort of provide these exercises for myself, sort of how. Like, uh, newscasters have these vocal warm-ups. Um, <laughs> I say newscasters specifically because I remember the Anchorman movie, and he's doing that in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, like anybody who sings or speaks for a living has these vocal warm-ups to reduce any chances... What is going on with this boat? Um, reduce any chances of vocal slip-ups or things to that manner. And I think I should start doing that a little bit, because I have mentioned in the past that I have a bit of a lisp, and that can be pretty annoying, especially with a mic that picks up a lot of those things. Um, yeah, like, if I go, th if I haven't properly calibrated my mic ahead of time, uh, let's break you, merci beaucoup, uh, yeah, if I don't calibrate it ahead of time, then it turns into an audio spike and that's really annoying. I, I try to minimize audio spikes as much as I can, like I run through the video and if it's something that I can get rid of, I will. Sometimes you may notice there's a weird hiccup in the audio, but that's just to avoid audio spikes. So I think this video, I properly position my mic. It's a, head, it's a headset mic by the way, that's why it's not good. So hopefully, but no, I'm I sort of slouch a little bit, so 
my arm and when I don't slouch I feel like it sitting on my jacket or something uh, so it's a bit of a interesting situation I actually did buy a real mic microphone like um but it was I made the mistake of cheaping out on it so I got it for like twenty dollars and it's complete crap like the audio is more level but the the quality is it's all sort of grainy and just not good so it I wouldn't use it because it's horrible but yeah I think audio quality in general will improve if I decide that this is worth enough of my time that I'll spend some money on a microphone but in general I just need to practice commentary and that is what this series is for so I'm probably gonna be doing some of these exercises on this like maybe not even in this world but I have a few so one is to build something and describe my thought process while building that thing so that's what the um, Metropolis, the new Metropolis thing is supposed to be. By the way, I'm highly considering just changing the whole series to Project Metropolis because that's I posted like a Reddit thread and a Minecraft forums post, and I called it Project Metropolis just so because it sounded cooler. And I might just convert it to that on my YouTube channel as well because it sounds cool. And when I say New Metropolis, it's weird because like the series is called New Metropolis, but then there was Old Metropolis which is just Metropolis, and it's, it's just pretty crazy. So I might just change it to Project Metropolis to uh, make that a bit nicer. Um, but yeah, that's what I, like I said, it's what I've been trying to do in my Project Metropolis series. Um, but I'm not sure, I need some more practice when I'm not actually making the video content itself, and maybe also doing something like that in survival. But yeah, I'm all, in general just like doing tasks and then narrating those tasks to a acceptable level is something that I really need to work on because uh, a great example was in my uh, first Deathcraft Season 2 episode is that I was building this farm and my brain just sort of, or my brain is working but my mouth shut down. So I need to work on overcoming that if I ever want to make these videos because if I don't get over this I'm considering sort of cutting the a lot of the um, <laughs> how do I say this cutting all the narration stuff and mainly working in doing um, technical and building stuff and just doing rarer videos on that so if I I don't know maybe if by the end of the year I don't get better at it I don't know I feel bad because there are a few people who watch my videos and like them so I feel like I'd be letting those people down oh, that is amazing that is a really cool little thing I want to build on that That is, seriously, that is a very cool, because it's just like the mountain, and then just comes out. I want to get a closer look at that. But yeah, sort of do, uh, the best example I could think of is, oh, oh dear, you okay, pig? Uh, maybe something closer to uh, Seth Bling, except obviously not super complicated redstone stuff but he does like occasionally do non completely instructional videos but when he does do completely instructional videos are generally well thought out and stuff like that and I think I'm, I'm considering changing my channel to more of that style and maybe occasionally do the rare let's play of something or another and maybe actually I could, huh, I could possibly keep the main channel for doing like building stuff and um, instructional stuff in general and then do let's play stuff on live streams and then maybe have a separate little thing for um, VODs <laughs> I'm not sure if people actually call them VODs but basically the uh, output that you get from Twitch 
because I do have a Twitch account. I actually have a Twitter account now as well. Uh, I wouldn't suggest following me yet because I've only tweeted once, and that was to have JDEF put me on the whitelist for the DevCraft server. But yeah, that will become more active. So I'm I'm gonna probably mention because I know most people don't watch this, <laughs> and that's it's nobody's fault except for me actually because I told people not to watch this. Uh, but for the like three people who do watch this, uh, leave your comments about how you feel about that. Because I think, I mean, it feels like a selfish thing to say, but I think if I was, if I was most worried about subscriber growth, well, it's hard to say. If I become better at this, then yeah, subscriber growth, um, then like narr um, narrative stuff like the DevCraft server could become a good part of my channel, but if I don't become good at it, that could actually hinder. Because I, I know I see a lot of people who do technical things or like do tutorials and stuff, and they're like, they're really awesome, so it's like you subscribe to them, but then like they just release all these, this crappy Let's Play stuff that you don't care about because you don't, you aren't really subscribed to them for them, you're subscribed to them for their stuff. Um, and I feel like that's probably what I am at this point. Uh, people have subscribed to me for my how to build stuff. Like, I would say 80 to 90% of my subscribers subscribe specifically because of one of the three how to build things. And all the other ones are either a. Oh, crap. Are either a byproduct of that or people on the DevCraft server. I think I can get rid of that. So, yeah, that's that. So, yeah, I'll mention this in the next New Metropolis episode, or Project Metropolis episode, because I haven't finished recording it yet, so I'll just uh, slip that one in at the end. Uh, Project Metropolis is a thing that could actually stick around, even if I decide to go with that format, because, first of all, I really enjoy making that, um, even if I'm not a huge fan of the... Uh, Time lap making the time lapses. I really enjoy building in there. Uh, screw that creeper. And yeah, so maybe it wouldn't be a weekly thing. I also think I would have a lot, a bit more motivation. Well, it's hard to say whether or not I would have more motivation if I didn't stick to the schedule that I've sort of held myself to. It really hasn't been working out too much. I think I maybe had two weeks in the month or two that I've been trying to keep that schedule. Oh, I feel someone's coming at me. Um, yeah, it's just been like two weeks that I've actually successfully kept that schedule. So really it's not working out too well, but if I get rid of the schedule, I'm afraid then I'll have absolutely no motivation to make videos at all. Um, by the way, <laughs> I, I'm, and I have like a minute and a half left. I really should be doing homework right now, but eh, screw that. I can do homework whenever. I have to. Do, I have to get this out by later today because it's Monday at six thirty. Um, but yeah, if I do so, again, I'm sort of. I don't want to make rash decisions on whether or not I'm switching my ca channel to a certain sort of content. Uh, but if I were to, which is a possibility, I guess, then I would most likely. Uh, keep this sort of thing, except it might change uh, subject a little bit. I mean, I might provide a little bit of personal commentary like I'm doing now. Ooh, there we go. Let's grab a pick. But it would also also combine with the idea I was talking about two weeks ago now, last episode, um, with the tech talk thing where I talk about specific concepts. Um, so it would be sort of like a if anybody watched watch, watch Vex, who makes the uh, super hostile maps, he did like developer commentary and stuff like that. So it would be something like that if I do switch and keep this Wander Trek thing. It wouldn't be called Wander Trek as well. Probably, probably be called Tech Talk or something to that effect. Uh, but I only have 20 seconds left, so I'll finish it off here. Ooh. That skeleton stops creeping on me. Yeah, so if you like, oh dear, uh, if you liked, you can leave a like. If you really liked and really like to see more, you can subscribe. 
and until next time, goodbye.